Hello folks, so the last night I was checking my internet and found something that can change the future of all fucking gaming PC builds and whatever. So last year was great 2016, great PC builds and great innovations. They give you the best bang for your buck. Yes, right. But they have something very common in them that all the uses i3s, i5s, i7. FX4300, FX6300, FX6350, FX8320, whatever, whatever, whatever. But no one is talking about a new possibility. So, internet I found something that can be called a new possibility. So keep watching this video, and I'll tell you all about this possibility thing. So, without any further delay, let's get started. <laughs> So it's time to raise the curtains from this possibility thing. It's a Xeon processor. Yes, a Xeon processor. And I don't think budget PC gamers don't really look at the Xeon processors because of their high price, lower clocks and a lot of threads. So let's start with problem number one that is lower clock speed. So Xeons do have a lower clock speed about 2 to 2.5 gigahertz. I haven't seen any Xeon processor which have the 3.0 or above stock speeds or whatever. And that's pretty much true about this processor as well because the processor I have chosen is Xeon X5650 and it have a clock of 2.67 gigahertz which is not nice I know but but the overclocking potential of the Xeon processor is like amazing because you can overclock a Xeon X5650 from 2.67 gigahertz straight up to 4.0 gigahertz without any problem without any water cooling you can overclock it easily to 4.0 gigahertz and if you can cool it sufficiently you can get 4.5 gigahertz or sometimes even above it depends on you so problem number one solved and problem number two higher core count doesn't help in video games so yes that is a problem because this processor have six core and 12 threads and most of the games don't use 12 threads even nowadays but with the evolution of DirectX 12, the games are trying to make more and more use of these multiple physical and logical cores. So the Xeon X5650 multiple core problem solved. So first answer was the higher overclocking potential and second answer was the DX12 support. and the third and the most and most and most important question about the Xeon processor is their price. Yes, Xeon processor are priced way above than uh, average consumer pocket. I know that. But the price of Xeon processors also drops very quickly. Like there's a huge, huge difference in price in the release date and now. And the Xeon X5650 is released in maybe early 2013 and now it is retailing at just $45. Yes, you heard me right, just $45 and you are getting 6 core, 12 threads, clock of 4.0 gigahertz and sometimes even over in just $45. Like freaking $45. And when we ran through the Cinnamon score we got a score of 918 and with the fifth generation i7 K series processor we got a score of 1083 so this processor is this close to the i7 performance like there was maybe approximately 15 to 20 percent decrease in performance but the decrease in price is 
absolutely phenomenal because those i5s are retailing at 350 dollars or 400 dollars or sometimes even above because it's a k series processor so all i want to talk about is that xeon processors can be made to game on a budget gaming pc and i forgot to tell you about this but there are two more problems in xeon processors one it's motherboard yes it's motherboard are way more expensive than any budget gaming motherboard and that problem isn't solved even now but let's take a quick calculation if you make a i3 processor with the motherboard it will cost you about 170 dollars at least 170 dollars because i3 processors alone cost 117 dollars and about 55 to 60 dollars goes with that motherboard so about 170 dollars but if you make a xeon build you can get a motherboard in about 150 200 dollars or and depends on your pocket you can even spend 400 dollars on a xeon motherboard and that's not the point that the point is we want to get a motherboard in as less as we can so you can get a motherboard in just about 140 dollars and with the xeon processor of 45 dollars it will cost you 185 dollars which is like this close to the i3 build and in terms of performance it can really blow away the i3 really it will blow away the i3 you might get double the, double the fps you are getting in any single game not just fps you are getting a lot of performance in cinnamon scores uh, i know cinnamon doesn't mean anything but still video editing graphical rendering which i always use makes use of a lot of cores and xeon really outshines any processor in that price range and even above that price range even i5s are nothing compared to that xeons so one more problem left that is ram so as you know that xeon is a server processor and it only use the ecc registered ram and ecc registered ram have very low frequencies no that's not true that's not true i know that ecc rams have higher frequencies as well but the xeon x5650 only uses the 1333 megahertz ram so this might look a problem to you but these rams have a higher latency and if you don't know anything about ram i will make a separate video about it so please check that out and fortunately you can get this ram dirt cheap because no one is using the 1333 megahertz ram and it's mark is just blown off <laughs> really blown off i have got a uh, 8 gb ddr3 ram of 1333 megahertz with ecc registration in just 16 dollars like 16 freakish dollars and with including ram this pc cost even lesser than the i3 build that is completely insane so hope you like this video like it if you like it and let me know what you think about the xeon processor line because i love it and share as much as you can because i want people to know more and more about these line of processors because they can be a new possibility so sub please subscribe to my channel and i am harvinger this gb is the tech showdown and i'll see you guys in my next one bye bye